How's it going? Today we're going to do a quick overview and a reference guide on changing the oil on the 390 Adventure. First step, the manual says to heat the engine to operating temperature. So we'll fire it up and uh, while it's heating up we'll uh, remove the bash plate. We won't go into how to do that because obviously it depends on what bash plate you're using. And that's got the AXP bash plate. Um, so we'll remove that while the engine's warming up and then we'll get straight into it. Alright, so we're going to take this nut off using an 18mm socket. Drain plug, I should know this, I work in the bloody automotive industry, <laughs> dickhead. It's a bolt, not a nut. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting out the heavy arsonry, we're getting out the breaker bar. Ah, piece of piss. Dirty. Mm. Okay, so when you take the drain plug out, there's going to be um, a black rubber o-ring right at the base there. You're going to want to check that to make sure it's not deteriorated in any way. Otherwise, you'll um, compromise the seal when you put it back on. So now that you've taken the drain plug out, inside here is a screen that catches all the shit when, you, um, when your engine's running. You just have to gently pull that out if it wants to come out. Oh, far out. And around here, has you've also got um, magnets that collect all the shit as well. So you can see there, there's a bit of stuff built up around there. And there's quite a bit of debris on the screen as well. So I'm going to go and give that a clean up. With what? With some contact cleaner or brake cleaner. Whatever you've got. <laughs> and just dunk it in the oil for a bit of extra lube. <laughs> Don't be a fool. Always use gloves when you're working with chemicals. And that's a trained professional. So just on the other side of the exhaust pipe here there's another another drain bung. 13 millimeter I think this one is. Yep. We'll take that one off. Another screen behind that 13 mil belt. Happy days. Helps to lean the bike side to side if you want to get all the oil out. Yeah. So on the opposite side of the bike to all the drain plugs, you've got the oil filter and you need an 8 mil socket to get the bolts out of the cover. Ugh. On the cover you're going to want to check the rubber o-ring as well. Okay so to get your oil filter out you're going to want to grab a small pair of needle nose pliers and you just put them in there like that, open them up a fraction so you've got some tension on there and you just pull it out. Well, that's the plan anyway. Not in this instance. You it... hold your mouth right. I know, right? Ah, there hey. we go. Just give it a bit of a scan to see if there's any debris wedged in there. That uh, is a bit of a concern, but... Piston ring. <laughs> There's no piston rings in this one. So this looks pretty good. It's good. Filter's doing its job. And then you're going to want to tip the bike over a fraction to get some excess oil out of that cavity. Alright, so with my bikes, being the 350 or the 390, I get some paper towel and I just give that a bit of a wipe down inside there. Alright, so once you're satisfied that that's clean enough and you've got as much oil out as you possibly can, we're going to get a new oil filter and whack it in there. In a pinch, just leave the paper towel in there, put the cap back on and the paper towel will serve as a filter. No, I'm just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> 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 now we 
we gotta fish it out. <laughs> she just spent three hours cleaning that up too. So this is the new oil filter that is gonna go in the bike. Take that out. Comparison, right there. Old, new. Apparently you don't need to prime these ones. Now you wanna push it in until you feel it sort of click and um, go into place. All right, so we're just gonna put this oil filter cap back on. Now, you have to hold your tongue right when you do this one too, because it's quite firm. I don't know why. Sure, so you hold your tongue. <laughs> there we go. Might just need to give it a slight little wiggle here and there. Torque settings for the oil filter cover are 10 newton meters. 10 newton meters? Or 7.4 pound feet. Alright. So that's not very much. It right. is It is screwing into aluminium. So do not over tighten these. Nice. That's just given the uh, mess a bit of a clean up. Alright, so you're going to want to put this drain plug with the screen back in under here. Being, sh being careful not to cross thread it. And did you check the torque specs on this one, darling? No. No? Okay. I'll just use the torque wrench. Cool. That one's done. Alright, so once you've got your screen clean, um, you can then pop it back in where you found it, which he goes in there. You just have to push on it to make, you just have to make sure it's seated properly. There we go, you hear a click, and then it goes in. And you can put your cap back on. So this little drain plug that has the screen on it, that's got 12... Newton meters. Thank you. 12 <laughs> Newton meters. And this one's got 14, did you say? 15. 15 newton meters, so we'll just tighten that up to spec. <laughs> Your fucking elbow clicked. <laughs> Did you hear it? <laughs> no, it didn't. That's your torque wrench. Yep. Beautiful. Done. And then what you'll want to do is just give it a bit of a squirt on your exhaust with some brake and parts cleaner because the oil wants to just go all over the shop. You can just leave that oil on there and pretend that you're doing a burnout when it all smokes up. Oh yeah. <laughs> so the manual calls for 1.7 litres of 15W50 oil. We're just, we've got 10W50 which we're going to use. Um, it's just semi-synthetic. Penrot seems to do the job pretty well. I'm hoping that we've got enough that's the two litre mark there. It'll be pretty close. <laughs> we'll see. Where do you put it in, Dr. Nat? So you have to take the oil cap off, the oil filler cap. Sometimes you might need some pliers to undo it, depending if you've got delicate fingers like me. Just give that a bit of a wipe down. Make sure the, there's no seal on this one, but make sure there's no dirt or anything that can get inside. Give the edges a bit of a wipe down with a clean rag. Beautiful! So now we're going to need a funnel. So this is just part of a funnel. We're just going to squeeze that in there, if it'll go. Oh. Oh, I knew you were going to do that. Sorry. It's even got a big enough spout and everything to yeah. pour it. We don't have enough to waste. I know. Don't forget to replace your oil filler cap. Cool. So we're going to start the bike up and get the oil running through the engine so it fills up the oil filter cavity as well. And then we'll check the oil level and see where it's sitting. You may need to add a bit more. What kind of torch have you got on your head there? I've got an Olight Perrin 2. It's pretty cool. I know, it's great. It's um, been pretty handy for this job, especially when it starts getting dark. Alright, let's start her up. 
So now that you've run the oil through the engine, you're going to want to stand it up right and check the oil level in the sight glass. In this instance, the, we can't see it, so we're going to have to add some more. Alright, so we've just added a bit extra. We've run it through the engine and um, we're sitting on the full line, so that's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. Perfect. There you go, easy job. Um, not hard. No special tools needed. What else is there to do now before we go riding? That's great. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking of cleaning up with the tools. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we're just gonna put the bash plate back on, and that's it. Good to go. Easy, simple. Thanks for coming along and um, watching some noobs change oil on 390 Adventure. <laughs> We'll catch you guys on the next video. Don't forget to consult your manual for all the proper instructions. Cheers guys. You wanna do the intro? Yep. How's it going? Today. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Okay. Sorry, I just <laughs> I can't do it now. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> All right. That's how much beer she's had. I've had the neck. <laughs> We're off to Not a good either. start. <laughs> All right. How's it going to all you viewers out there at home? <laughs> Oh, Babe! <laughs> this is like Seinfeld out there. I know, right? <laughs> you want a piece of me? You got it! <laughs> How's it going to all you viewers out there on the couch watching, um... <laughs> it's going to be the longest bloopers reel ever. I know, ever. right? Don't forget to tune in next week for how to drop the oil on your seal. Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Wolf back baby! <laughs> we should put that in a video and fucking and tag over like. <laughs> Don't forget to check out our merch at mvdbr.com and what's the gear website? <laughs>